Hi, it's Rich with Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California. Welcoming you to another tutorial. And this is really just going to be answering a question that I get all the time. And that question is, what camera do I need or should I get for real estate photography? And what lens should I get? Should I get a full frame? Should I use crop sensor? Should I go micro four thirds, mirrorless, DSLR? Should I get ultra wide? Should I get a fisheye? Should I get uh, a telephoto, a zoom, a prime? What should I get? Well, I'm here to calm you down and to make you feel really good, especially if you're getting into this and your funds are somewhat limited. For the last three years, I personally have been using, for the majority of my real estate photography, I've been using a Sony A6000. And this little guy has been everywhere. I've taken him to Australia, Mexico, shoots in Europe, and this has been the best camera. A friend of mine in the groups, Wayne, who, who most people know Wayne, but Wayne started off uh, using an A6000 like this, and I said, you know what, I want to try it too, because he explained that mirrorless cameras are really cool and have a lot of features. And I'm not going to really go into too much of that today, but I just want to tell you, first of all, I bought this open box at Best Buy for about $349, and I got the lens, this is the A6000, the beginning of the line of the A cameras, and then I got the lens Samyang 12mm, it's an f2 lens, and it is a manual lens. I got it for $315, and they go for $279 now. So it's a great lens, it's very sharp, very little distortion, has some chromatic aberration, the purple fringing, and, but um, very easy to take out in your upload in Lightroom. So it's great and it is compact. And the best part about it is if I put it to f7.1 and then I set it to just shy of infinity, everything's in focus all the time, three feet to infinity. I never have to focus it. It's not autofocus, it's just everything's in focus. So if you set it to right there, I hope you can see that. And then I even tape it up because I don't want it moving. So I don't have to focus it and that saves time. Little seconds here, seconds there really help. So it's a great camera. It's 24 megapixels, so it's more than enough resolution. It has great dynamic range for what it is. It's a great camera. I may not use it for a wedding or for professional sports, or I wouldn't use it if I wanted to put like a tilt shift on here or something, uh, maybe a really high-end designer shoot. That I, not, not that I couldn't, but I just would choose to use like, here's my a7 III, so that's my, my other camera. But I love this for real estate photography and it's a great photography, it's a great camera for uh, family photos, for trips, travel camera. You can fit all of the Sony lenses on here, uh, the E-mount lenses, so it's great. It is a crop factor, so this Samyang 12mm lens comes out to the equivalent of 18 millimeters on a crop sensor, which is APS-C and it's uh, 1.5 crop factor. But 18 millimeters, if you want to know, don't believe people saying you got to have a 12 to 24 or 14 millimeters or even 16 millimeters. 18 millimeters is more than enough wide for anything you're going to shoot in real estate. I'm very happy with it and I have no complaints. So mirrorless cameras are great too because it has built-in Wi-Fi, which a lot of cameras have built-in Wi-Fi nowadays, but Sony has a thing called Play Memories, and that's a place where you get all these different apps, and the app I use for tethering is called the, uh, the Camera Remote app by Sony. And it's great because I just hook up uh, Wi-Fi between my iPad and my camera, and I can, just, I can just look right here, and I can change. I'm gonna show it to you. Let me see if I can point it at myself. Eh, I'm not gonna even look at myself. I'll point it over there. But you can see here, it will allow you to change settings. It will allow you to change your shutter speed. It will allow you to do um, ISO, auto white balance. You can review your image. You can trigger your image from the other side of the room. It has very good um, Wi-Fi and can go pretty far. And it is just wonderful. And I like that I don't have to plug something into the camera like on my CamRanger and my Nikon. I just, it's built in. So it's really, really cool. Now, oh, I forgot to show you. 
Everybody always asks that. This is my iPad mini in here and I've had it for about five years and I just keep it in here all the time. And this case is called the Life Proof Case for the iPad mini. And it has a strap on it and I like the strap because I can go hands free and I can do my settings and when I'm done shooting with it and I have to move stuff, I put it right there. It's always with me. If I didn't have a strap, whoops, phone, phone fell. I keep going. Good. Um, I wouldn't be, I would have to put it down and leave it. And so straps are just make a lot of sense. So I really, really recommend tethering for one. And if you're going to tether, get a strap because it really makes it very, uh, very handy. So I have my little L bracket on here, which I really like L brackets. And I'll show you why, because if I am shooting in horizontal orientation, which we usually use for real estate photography like this. And I've got it like, like that. Let me just close it up and I'm going to tighten it down for you. Turn it, get it tight. There we go. Okay. So if I am in vertical, I mean, horizontal orientation, and I want to switch to vertical orientation, it would be a real pain. So I've got to go here. I've got to adjust everything over here. I've got to bring this down and then reconfigure my verticals and horizontals. But if you've got a, an L bracket on, all you have to do is loosen up your clamp, turn your camera over on axis, and it's, it goes right there and you don't have to do anything else. So it's a lot faster, a lot easier to uh, use than trying to use a regular bracket and flop it over. So I'm just going to tell you this is what I use and uh, I'm going to really make this a short video because there's not much more to say and there are great videos by other people that are more in depth, more educated on the, the real true functions and things of it. But I will say there's a whole line of A6000, A6300, A6500 and they're, they're a little better body build quality and uh, little features that are better like the uh, 6500 has in camera uh, in camera uh, lens vibration system, um, vibration control in camera. I forget exactly how you pronounce it. Same thing with the uh, a7 III, but this one doesn't have it. And that's okay because the other cameras like a thousand dollars, 6,500 like a thousand. And this one, I'm going to put a thing in the show notes. I'm going to put this uh, link in the show notes and it's like $450 or something. So it's a great camera, a great value. And if you're just getting into this, Spend your money also on lights and education. Go to a workshop, go to uh, get some uh, periodicals and, and go listen to podcasts, everything you can just to get better. But right now, I think this camera will suffice and do, do you really well. Get a little trigger for it, put it right there and you're all, all set. Okay, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to leave it at Rich Baum saying, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. What you're watching means a lot to me. I've got a lot of great fans all over the country, all over the world. I want you to be one of them and uh, check me back uh, as often as you can. I got plenty of videos. I want you to also please use that Adorama link because I do all these free videos. If you click on the Adorama link, do your shopping at Adorama. I get a little a penny here and a penny there. It really isn't a lot of money, but it does help um, motivate me. And when you put them, put everything together, it helps me do these free videos. I want you to also check out our podcast. It's a real estate photography podcast called Shooting Spaces, a real estate photography podcast. And that is at Shooting Spaces Podcast. Dot com and I do that with my buddy Brian Berkowitz in New York and also I'm finished doing workshops but I might do a few more next year but I've um, got my last one next week October 16th and 17th so anyway subscribe leave a thumbs up leave a thumbs down I don't care either way I'm happy to do it no matter even if you didn't like my video and uh, please leave a comment because I answer all of my comments personally and give you the answer if I've got the answer give it to you so have a great day Rich Baum signing off saying, keep shooting better, smarter, faster, and you're going to get better clients and you make more money and you can go get better equipment, and spend time with your family, have fun, and just go out and shoot and enjoy life. Talk to you later.